Hey, we're two fat guys. And we just watched Justice League of America. Yep. <laughs> sure did. The TV pilot. That stayed just a pilot. In the 90s. For good reason. Uh, so let's do let's do a roster check. It's the Justice League. We have Superman. Nope. No? Nope. No Superman. We got Batman, surely. Nope. No Batman? Nope. Not even Dick Grayson. Wonder Woman. Not close. No Wonder Woman? No. Nope. Aquaman? Tell me we've got Aquaman. <laughs> Their base is underwater. Surely we have Aquaman. <laughs> you didn't even think of that? <laughs> <laughs> no, Aquaman. No, no Aquaman? Really? Then <laughs> pray tell, who is this Justice League? Well, everyone's favorite Green Lantern. <laughs> Guy Gardner. Yeah, I, I mean, I need Obviously. to say it's everyone's favorite, so, uh, you know. Um, uh, the fire. Fire? <laughs> and, and ice. And ice. Uh, yeah. George R.R. R. Martin's Justice League of America. Yep. Guy Gardner, his favorite Green Lantern. Uh, oh, I hope he kills him soon. <laughs> if only. <laughs> um... Uh, the Flash. The Flash. This is very sad. sad unemployed sad Flash. Flash. The Adam or the Adam, <laughs> depending on what you're playing. <laughs> and um, creepy, overshadowing, uh, essentially it's Charlie, and they're his angels, Martian Manhunter. Yes, Fat Martian Manhunter. Yeah, yeah, definitely Fat Martian Manhunter. I thought you were joking around. That's, no. Then, like, he turned and you he's, saw his gut, and I'm like, Jesus! David Ogden Sires is a, a large fellow, uh, which is great in, like, 99% of the roles he does. And then I heard he got cast as this, and I was like, hi! That, all right, the voice checks out. He's mm -hmm. got that, like, half of his credits on IMDb, our narrator. Mm -hmm. um, and he's Cogsworth. And, but, yeah, so good, good voice. Does not have the physique I of Martian Manhunter. I know you said Cogsworth, my brain said Mrs. Buttersworth. I'm like, fucking. Yeah, yeah, he played what? Mrs. Buttersworth. <laughs> the real racist. He's a super good actor, though, man. Yeah. I could Oh, oh, it's, it's, oh it's, it's, it's amazing. Um, this movie, though, this, this, it, it had the worst feature, which. These marathons talking one thing is that boring is the worst thing of all. Yes. Like, I'll, I'll take bad, campy, over-the-top awfulness any day of the week. Yeah, like, boring. It's, it's worse than bad, it's boring. It's right. like, it's like, meh costumes and meh story. Man, meh. so that that's how they used to think that they could get away with comic book costumes in a live-action movie. Yeah, man, I thought myself thinking longingly of the digitally made Green Lantern costumes in the Green yeah. Lantern movie. <laughs> like, hey, that one... Yeah, it doesn't look so... It, that one's so bad. Well, it's green! <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, I didn't mention that! I'm sorry, I meant, like, Teal Lantern. Yeah, Teal Lantern. Lantern. Oh. Yeah, so Fire's costume was green, so clearly they couldn't have two green costumes. <laughs> yeah, so they, so they changed Green Lantern's costume. Which sucks, they didn't change his ring. His ring nope. is still green. Yeah, so it, it just draws attention to the fact. Yes, yeah, so every time you do something green, it's super, like a great, really good color green, usually. Mm -hmm. Like a nice deep green, and then just teal. Straight up teal. All, 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 all over. of the teal. All of the teal. Um, the, the awful thing where people see people's jawlines and don't recognize them. Like you, were, yeah. you were just talking to this person. How, how do you not know them? Um, David Krumholtz is in it. Uh, Mr. Universe from Serenity. He's Bernard. Uh, Bernard, the head elf from Santa Claus. Which is what he'll always be in my heart. Um, and he's also the main character in Numbers. Mm -hmm. um, I, I liked him in this. I thought his scenes were among the most watchable. Yeah, yeah, ish. <laughs> Most watchable. They were watchable. They weren't. They still weren't that fascinating to me. But no, um, through no fault of his, though. No, yeah, he's super young in this. I guess no younger than. Well, this is probably around the same time as Bernard. Right? Yeah, around the same time. So mid mid late nineties mm -hmm. around there. I'm a big fan of Santa Claus. I'm up there. What about Santa Claus three? I have I watched that one, Martin Short. I've seen parts of it. I've not watched the whole thing. It's not good, but Martin Short. 
So with that, I'm assuming he like screams and jumps around and stuff. So yeah, he's Jack that, Frost. So that's that's all right. And then spoilers, spoilers for Santa Claus Three. He takes over as Santa Claus. So then you get this weird, like Jack Frostian Santa Claus. Um, how great it'd be if like Santa Claus Three won an Academy Award for costume design. <laughs> Academy Award winning film, Santa Claus 3, The Escape Class. <laughs> like, that's, that's what I was, I'm pretty sure that was the, straight to DVD. Oh, maybe it was. No, it was theaters, bro. Was it really? It was theaters. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, since this is about the just fun point of Fun point of fact, since we're on Santa Claus, <laughs> okay. despite your segue. I tried. Uh, I tried, internet. I tried. I, I'm trying to think of any examples of a movie mm-hmm. that had a directed DVD sequel mm-hmm. that then had a third part no released the in theaters. I feel like there's at least one. Like, man, none jumps to mind, which makes me feel even worse for bringing it up. Because we have two minutes of us going, <laughs> well, I think. Gee! We'll edit this out. Blooper reel. No, never. Never? Oh, yeah, no editing. Fuck. fuck. Well, no, some editing. Some editing. Editing now, but not this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to look this up later, and we'll have this yeah. discussion when we're not in the middle of So we'll, we'll, maybe, t- we'll maybe talk about this after our next movie. Yes. <laughs> Come on. It's homework. So <laughs> homework. you try to do some research, see if you can find any, and see if you're right. And then write back. us a letter. Use the U.S. Postal Service and save America. <laughs> P.O. Box 487 921 3. That's, that's the one. <laughs> no, no zip code, no city, they'll find us. They know which one. Oh, it's the P.O. Box with like 13 letters? Okay, good. <laughs> yep, 13 letters. Yeah, two fat guys. Yep, that checks out. Oh, man. So yeah, it's it's boring. Don't watch it. Don't bother. Costumes are bad. Story is bad. Acting meh. Yeah, you saw the clips in here. That's probably all you need to see. Are you gonna make him watch clips on this thing? Don't. It's, <laughs> it's right. too late. All right. If you <laughs> you invent time travel <laughs> right already, now, they've already watched if some time, clips. If time travel is done right now, go back in time and stop yourself. No, because then I I don't do that. What? Because now you will, you've seen all you need to see, and you'll have no reason to go back and actually watch. Just like, I don't know if anyone who's not a crazy person like us is going to surround you. You know what I should do? Watch that Justice League of America '90s pilot. Clayton might. No. No, Clayton's going to surround you. I should play some Skyrim and then write the economic history of yeah, the small village. Clayton might do it if someone else suggested it. But, but now he'll know to, to actually fight it. I don't know if he would do it someone suggested. He would do it if, like, we shanghaied him. Like, well, Clayton, here's what you're doing. That's kind of what I meant. That was the polite way of saying. <laughs> Although he's not strong enough to resist. Like, even if he knew how terrible it was, if we started he's that. He's strong. He was, <laughs> right. Well, he's resistant to moving. He's not resistant. He's not much of a mover. He's a not mover. He's the opposite thereof. So join us next week where we'll try to wrestle Clayton to the ground. <laughs> And we watch Batman Returns. Danny DeVito, Michelle Pfeiffer. Danny DeVito is in that movie. I'm a big fan. I always forget that. I remember, like, when I think Batman Returns, I think uh, Christopher Walken, Michelle Fucking, Pfeiffer. Yeah, Christopher Walken. And oh, I almost always forget about Danny DeVito. Because, again, I haven't watched that movie in probably a decade. Oh, my God. You look like a penguin. That's so, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, Jack Line. Oh my god. So much like a penguin. It's scary. It's crazy to me. Things. This watch was in my ass. So, Batman. Next week.